For the past two years, Labor Day was met with empty streets, unoccupied public spaces, and Jamaicans encouraged to labor at home due to COVID-19 restrictions. With the lifting of these measures, this Labor Day 2022 will see a myriad of activities to make Jamaica crisp and clean. Labor Day is usually the culmination of Workers' Week. As customary, the indispensable contribution of workers in Jamaica is recognized during this period. But this year, one week is expanded to two. We will also be extending Workers' Week beyond that week to the end of the month when we will host a banquet honoring 25 workers coming out of the movement. Activities began on Wednesday, May 18, when the bust of Agnes Aggie Bernard was unveiled at the Workers' Monument on Port Royal Street. We honor one of the truly outstanding women of Jamaica, Aggie Bernard, one of the foremost pioneering female activists in Jamaica's labor movement during the 1938 labor riots that were pivotal in Jamaica's political development. The bust of Aggie Bernard is a tribute to the workers of Jamaica. On Sunday, May 22, the Workers' Week and Labor Day National Thanksgiving Church Service will be held at the Emmanuel Apostolic Church at 12A Slipe Road in Kingston. On Monday, May 23, floral tributes will be held in honor of National Hero Sam Sharp at the National Heroes Park in Kingston and Sam Sharp Square in Montego Bay. The highlight of the day is Labor Day activities. This year's focus is the protection of our heritage and environment under the broad Jamaica 60 theme, reigniting a nation for greatness. The Labor Day slogan is Make Jamaica Chris and Clean. The national project will be the renovation of Mandela Park in Halfway Tree. The focus for this year is the Mandela Park. The Mandela Park was created in honor and in tribute to Nelson Mandela and it is in a very shabby condition, and so we felt it was necessary. During this year, when we celebrate our 60th, and when we are honoring and recognizing our international partners and our brothers and sisters across the world, we thought it would be appropriate to start the refurbishing of Mandela Park. Prime Minister Andrew Holness will spearhead the national project, which will involve landscaping, masonry, carpentry, painting, electrical works, lighting, as well as disinfecting and sanitizing. The municipal corporations will also be undertaking parish projects that fit into the theme. At the same time, Minister Grange is urging persons to prepare for the Jamaica 60 Jubilee celebrations by cleaning up and beautifying their communities, landmarks and public spaces. And don't make this an ordinary cleanup like we have done in the past. This must be a special. Clean the corners, the crevice, the nook and the crannies. Get rid of the garbage. Protect your environment. <music> 